past seven. Ukraine's striking territorial gains in the last week have been on two fronts, mainly around Kharkiv in the northeast, but also around Kherson in the south, not far from Crimea, which Russia seized eight years ago. Last night, President Zelensky said overall it is now 8,000 square kilometers that have been taken back from the Russians this month. We're joined by Yuri Sak, who is an advisor to Ukraine's defense minister. Good morning, um, Yuri Good morning. Do you, how would you describe the extent of your gains in the last week? If I was to describe it in one word, I would say those gains are spectacular. And they've, uh, as our Minister of Defense, Mr. Alexei Reznikov said, uh, they've actually exceeded our own expectations. Can you hold that territory, though? Because we know that stabilization measures, that's how President Zelensky put it, are ongoing in about half of this newly liberated area. Of course, we are aware that uh, it is one thing to regain control of these territories and to drive the enemy out. Uh, but of course, these uh, counteroffensive measures have to be followed by the stabilization measures. And um, like you said, they're ongoing and uh, this will take some time because, you know, uh, the um, what we are discovering in the territories that are deoccupied now, uh, you know, they have to be demined, they have to be rebuilt, uh, uh, people who have to receive uh, humanitarian aid. So there's a lot. Of, this is a whole um, package of different actions that have to be taken by the Ukrainian government to ensure that there is stability on those territories and that they return back to normal life. Are you in a position now to push on in both of these areas, the east and the south, or does that depend? wholly or in part on, on fresh support from your allies? Uh, we are determined to continue uh, the counteroffensive uh, because our military objective, priority military objective, remains uh, unchanged. We need to deoccupy the whole of the Ukrainian territory and restore uh, our control over all internationally recognized borders. But of course, the success of the Ukrainian armed forces in this respect depends uh, a lot on uh, the uh, receipt of the military support from our allies. That's true. Um, so. Your, your determination to continue, does that, do, do you think it might be possible to retake control of all the areas of the east that were in your possession before the end of February, before the winter sets in? difficult to make such forecasts at this stage uh, because, uh, you know, while the success of the last few days was really uh, impressive, but at the same time we understand that we are standing up against an enemy which which has uh, a lot of artillery, which has a lot of firepower, which has a lot of uh, uh, personnel. So uh, we hope that the, we will keep the momentum uh, and we will try to achieve uh, more progress as soon as possible because one thing we want to avoid, of course, and this is in the interest of whole of the international community, we don't want this war to become a protracted war. Uh, we want this war to end soon. What, what if Russia strikes back in unexpected ways, perhaps with, with the use of uh, some kind of limited nuclear or, or biological or chemical strike? We have seen that um, Russia is a terrorist state capable of committing, you know, all sorts of war crimes and atrocities. So, uh, of course, we cannot completely rule out the possibility of such uh, things happening, uh, and we have to be prepared for them. But at the same time, the Russian army uh, has been considerably degraded by the Ukrainian armed forces uh, in the last couple of months, and in particular in the last couple of weeks. So uh, we believe that their offensive capability capabilities have decreased considerably and they're now fleeing in chaos. But does that increase the risk of another kind of strike of the kind I mentioned for exactly the reasons you're saying? Uh. And uh, we've been in a situation before uh, during these last seven months uh, when uh, you know, uh, the actions of the Ukrainian armed forces have been perceived as uh, a trigger for some uh, counteractions on the part of the Russians. We hope that it will not come to uh, the use of some uh, prohibited uh, weapons of mass destruction or chemical weapons. Yuri Sak, advisor to the Ukrainian defense minister. Thank you.